I kind of miss favourites videos a little bit. I'm not going to start doing them at the end of every month like I used to, but I have some bits that I've been itching to show you guys because I think you'll really like them. And some of these things like you've been asking me about because you've seen me wearing them or whatnot. The first thing that I'm in love with is currently making this video look a lot nicer. Can you see it? This bunting behind me. I've had this bunting or at least similar bunting from the same shop uh, on my Etsy watch list for a long time, like maybe a year, because I wanted to buy a bunch of it for my wedding. I really enjoy filming this setup against this wall, but I've just started feeling a bit like bored with it, like it's just a plain wall. So I wanted to zhuzh it up somehow and I was trying to think what could I do and suddenly I remembered this bunting and I thought sod it, I'll treat myself to it early, be a good test of like the quality before I invest in it for a wedding further ad further down the line. And yeah, it's really, really cool. It's from a shop on Etsy called Peony and Thistle. This was upcycled and created from a book about British wildflowers. So they're eco-friendly because they're reusing old materials and stuff. They have a bunch of different ones that look different and that are different shapes, I think. I'll leave a link to that Etsy shop down below, of course. I will try and leave links to everything that I can, um, but I didn't buy all of this recently, so I don't know how well that will go. Some of it might have gone out of stock and whatnot, but I will try. Next, I have some clothing pieces. I <laughs> share a lot of clothes with Alex. We wear each other's t-shirts a lot. We buy them in a men's XL and just share them between us because that's my favorite size and cut of t-shirts anyway. I don't like ladies t-shirts because they seem to be like made to fit your figure whereas men's are actually comfortable. Breaking Bad is one of my favorite TV shows of all time but I only had like one t-shirt of it and it wasn't even that good a t-shirt and I was like I need to fix this. This is not right. I need to express my love for Breaking Bad better. So I had a look on eBay and Etsy for some Breaking Bad t-shirts and I ended up finding one on eBay that I really really loved. So it looks like this. It's grey and we have water white in the middle. It says Heisenberg Blue Crystals, most remarkable curative discovery ever made in any age or country, Albuquerque, New Mexico. The best remedy made, not a hoax, not a scam. I really, really love this. I love the style of it, like it's some oldie worldy remedy that he's peddling. It's super comfortable and a really nice quality print. It doesn't feel like garbage or anything. I really, really like this. This is now one of my favorite t-shirts, to be honest. This next t-shirt is a Walking Dead t-shirt and this was a Christmas present that I got for Alex. But like I said, we share our clothes, so this is also one of my favorite things. <laughs> the Walking Dead is probably the show that we have the most t-shirts of. The Walking Dead and Star Wars, they're the ones that we have a lot of. This one was a Loot Crate exclusive. We don't have Loot Crate, but I just did a quick search on eBay and found a bunch of them. It says Negan Sluggers and we have Negan and Lucille. I must confess, I find Negan to be a bit of a sexy daddy. I wanna know what love is. He might be a meanie, but he's a sexy meanie. <laughs> really? I haven't read up to that point in the comics yet. I buy the comics and read them very slowly. I buy like two a year. By the way, I'm not gonna be like spoiling anything. There's no spoilers in this, but I know a lot of already about what happens in the comics. And just from what I already knew about his character, I think he's bloody awesome. And Jeffrey D. Morgan does an awesome job. This next top I wore in my uh, Lush Cocktails video and a bunch of you were asking about it. It looks like this, it's this hot air balloon kind of blouse. This is from F&F &F at Tesco. I saw this in Tesco sometime like early January, something like that. And I instantly fell in love with it. I just, I love the little hot air balloon print. I just think it's so cute. I told myself that I would treat myself to this as a reward once I completed my taxes. I don't know if you understand what hell doing your own taxes can be. I'm sure there are a bunch of self-employed people out there that don't find it as hellish as I do, but that's because you're clearly better than me at doing it. So I told myself my reward for getting through January and my taxes and everything else was this top. I was convinced it would go out of stock before I could buy it because they don't seem to stock things for very long and the best things seem to go really quick. Oh, my glasses are still blotchy. <laughs> so I went in there after doing my taxes. They were like mostly all gone and I found just a couple left and one of them happened to be in my size and I was like, it's now or never. If I don't get it now, it's never gonna be in my life probably. And I treated myself to it and it felt good. The next thing is another 
t-shirt. This one I got for Alex as a birthday present. As we've already established, and you probably already know, he loves the ocean and the fishes and the jellyfish and the sharks and everything. I wanted to get him some kind of t-shirt connected to the ocean and the animals in it because he didn't have anything like that. So I did some Googling and I found this really cool design on a t-shirt from Brave Soul. I really like it, I think it's really cool. It, the pattern or the shirt or whatnot is called Baelish. I think there are different colour options in this, like there's a grey shirt with slightly different colour print on it, but this one was my favourite one, so I thought he would like it, and he does like it. So, successful birthday present. A bunch of you have been asking me, ever since the Lush Cocktails video, what murder documentaries am I watching? A lot of people have been requesting like a whole video on it, and maybe I will. It's not that I love or endorse murder and horrible crimes and stuff, obviously, but I really like the whole mystery aspect of it. I'm very interested in like psychology and how people ever move on after stuff like this, and how they catch people, and it's just fascinating. I find it really, really interesting. I could watch these kind of documentaries for hours. The series that I just finished watching is on Netflix and it's called Real Detective. There's only one season, but I checked online and I think they're filming a second season, I think. What I really like about this series is, first off, the production value is really good. The actors are really good. They have some like actors I know, some recognisable faces, and they're fantastic. It focuses on and follows like the detectives working on the case and solving it and you see like reenactments of what happened, but they're also chatting uh, about what happened. No one put more pressure on me than me. And I really, really love how it talks about like the mental and emotional impact it has on the detectives and how it affects their life. And some of them say like it has forever changed their lives and they're clearly even years later, like really, really affected by it. If guys that are in this business tell you that they don't carry it home with them, that's bullshit. I've always thought about that, like watching a lot of these kind of programs and documentaries, what must it be like having that as your job? Like you are the person that has to, you know, find some resolution for these grief this grieving family. It must be so much press pressure. I've had enough mental and emotional struggles working in a clothing shop and I, c I couldn't comprehend how I could live a normal life whilst also dealing with this kind of stuff every day. I've watched a lot of programs like this and there were a couple of episodes, at least one episode in particular I can think of, that was actually quite difficult to watch. So just to keep that in mind, there's a cat on Instagram that I want to show you because he's one of my favourite things. <laughs> I'm going to move to one side so I can pop some pictures up of him. This cat is incredible, he looks like a little werewolf or an owl or some kind of magical I don't know, some kind of incredible magical creature that I can't get enough of. I can't stop looking at him. I'm obsessed with this cat. I love him so much. I have considered making a whole video chatting to you about animals I follow on Instagram. Let me know if you want to see that video or not. The animals I follow on Instagram actually make my life better. Seriously. <laughs> Another Instagram account that I'm really enjoying at the minute is Sucky Tattoos. I feel bad judging people's tattoos and saying like, this is good, this is bad. Obviously it's art, art is all subjective and whatnot, but I really enjoy seeing bad tattoos, but like really bad tattoos. <laughs> I'll show you some examples. I mean, no offense to like, if this is your tattoo and you love it, then fine. It's almost so bad that I love it, to be honest. They make me laugh, so maybe it is a good tattoo. Who knows? It brings joy and laughter to my life. As much as I like following amazing artists and seeing all the snazzy work. I do love just seeing like a badly drawn dick tattoo on someone's face or something. One quick warning about this page, you'll see lots of willies and fannies, but don't worry, they're not that well done, so there's not like a huge amount of detail in them. Some of them are a bit disturbing, but there you go. So me and Alex started playing a new video game together recently and I bloody love it when we find a game that we both get really into and can play together. Alex had played this before but I never had and it's called Earth Defense Force. You're defending Earth from an invasion of giant ants and bugs and spiders. Oh yeah, if you really, really hate spiders, you probably won't like this game. Spiders scare me but the graphics are bad enough that I can still enjoy playing this game. It took me quite a few games to properly get into it. Once I got into it, I found who I like to play as and what I like to blow ants up with. Uh, then I've become obsessed with it. I just want to point out, I'm very aware that I'm constantly... 
doing that and the new glasses wear out all right i'm getting used to them still they fit really well they're not like sliding off all the time but i just constantly feel the need to readjust them it really annoys me when i'm editing and i keep seeing myself doing it all the bloody time <laughs> last couple of things i'm going to chat about is food i got this vegan easter egg in tesco this is the tesco finest one caramel flavored egg with fondant truffles i think that the truffles that come in this are the same ones that you can buy a box of the tesco finest ones that are vegan i think they're the same i know it's not easter yet but I've already eaten it. As you can see, I ate this yesterday because, I don't know, PMS hit me hard. I needed some chocolate. <laughs> it's very, very sweet. It's very sickly sweet. Could be a good thing if you want to make your egg last a long time because you'll probably only be able to deal with like a little bit at a time before you need a rest. But it's tasty. It's very tasty. There's quite a lot of vegan eggs you can get actually. Sweet potato. I'm just like on a sweet potato binge at the minute. <laughs> I eat sweet potato for dinner like at least a couple of times a week. The only annoying thing about them is they can take quite a while in the oven and I'm very impatient and I, I want my food now. But just make sure you put them in a little bit before you're like really hungry and ready for dinner. I'll link you down below to a recipe from The Minimalist Baker, which I don't make with the chickpeas anymore, but I still make the sauce in that recipe quite a lot and put it on my sweet potatoes and I think it's really yummy. I've been having barbecue beans and sweet potato. I grated up some of the thyme cheese that you saw in my last video and put that on one as well and that was well good. Alex gets full up pretty quick. He picks like medium to small sized ones. I go for the big bad boys. <laughs> I could win a sweet potato eating contest, I'm convinced. That's everything I have to show you. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna do this monthly anymore. Unless I actually have stuff to talk about, I'm not gonna like force it. But if I have some cool stuff I wanna share, then I will. I hope that you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. And thank you for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.